Hey, howdy. So I think my plan for today is to do the dailies, then to do the vending machine, and then after that I kind of want to start shooting for menu themes. Because I realized that I, I I sort of wrote down a bunch of locations for menu themes that I hadn't gotten yet, and there's quite a few of them. So that's definitely something to do. But the dailies are House Over the, House Over the Rainbow, excuse me, Phosphorus World, and the vending machine... I think we'll- let's do this first, because I think I know where it is. I went too far down. Yeah, there you are. I just gotta follow this curve. This should take me to Black Building. There you are. <gasps> New badge! A gold Urusuki trophy. Let's go. 70%. And then 90%, and I imagine 100%. God, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a real headache to get, but that's awesome. Moving on from here, Red Street Light, Gray Road, Boogie, Boogie Street. Love me, love me Boogie Street. I just walked right past it. Right, there's a there's a weird method to this one, isn't there? Ah, okay, so here's the house over the rainbow. Isn't there a way to, like, horribly corrupt this area? Glasses, right. Black Rose World, ooh. Ah, there we go.
clandestine. Oh, right. <laughs> I was thinking I could use, um, what am I thinking of? I was thinking that I could use forest interlude. I can't. That is the part where forest interlude, just, that's the part where it gets cut off from. <laughs> There's an angel in the sky and his name is Sexus. Perhaps a demon. <laughs> Not an angel. Oh, crap, wait. Let me wake up and check something. <laughs> 92, come on, <laughs> okay. So I have to fall asleep uh, seven more times. Ninety-six. Okay, so seven. Eight. Nine. There we go. Pronoun world. I forget which one it is. It is... this. We go the tree is in full bloom
weird, weird green creatures. Oh god, right, the infinite s I forgot about the infinite staircase. <laughs> I do have to go- I do have to go through that. Uh, come on. Well. This is a very dot- this is a very dot flow thing. Oh, here's the vending machine. Yeah, it's the vending machine that laughs at you. That's a shadow lady. <gasps> That's a shadow lady. There we go. Oh! So many people. Alright, it's menu theme time. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, first stop is number 13. Bioluminescent Cavern. I'm not actually sure if I've been here before. Oh, damn. This is a very deep location, and it's Wataru, so... What in the... <laughs> what happened there? I just saw like an arrow of text go shooting across the screen. Not sure where that was from. Okay, let's see. Forest Pure Abandoned Factory Arctipillar. I've already got I've already got the menu theme from here, so I, I don't need to go out of my way. And I don't believe anything connects up to Hidden Shoal, so again, I don't I there's not really a need there.
Did they just accidentally trigger the ending without meaning to? <laughs> it's very funny if so. Okay, never mind. I think they meant to. to wonder how many areas use the seat use this track because it is just low droning or not droning it's like a wind turbine noises essentially Sure. Okay, it is this way. So I don't end up getting swallowed by Big Red or something. This is the correct way to go. Real poop lord, parentheses real. Oh, well, that's not going to help. <laughs> This NPC leads somewhere, but I forget where. Deserted Pier, okay. It ain't there. I don't think it's here either. I have to go to Industrial Maze. Oh no, this is the place with the coal. This is the place where you can like grab the soda. And sit on the on the bench and drink your soda. It's a cute area, but it's not what I'm going for. Somewhere in this mansion is the path to industrial maze. That I know for sure. I think this might be it. There we go. <laughs> I hope you like loud sounds. to say I, I quite like Wateru's worlds this area is a little bit loud <laughs> just a smidge
one of those areas that I prefer to kind of just avoid whenever possible because I like having hearing. This is the wrong way. Yep, okay, that's what I was afraid of. God, right, I forgot how convoluted this area is. place. Like, surely there's a path somewhere that leads somewhere productive. God, it's so loud. <laughs> What do you say we try a different path? Guts, Guts World. Not that much better, frankly, because Guts World requires me to go through Intestines Maze, I believe. But I suppose that might be the reason why I've never been to Bioluminescent Cavern. Intestines World, Visine World, or through Fabric World? Visine World's probably the fastest. I haven't seen anyone draw the Uro Pog yet, and I'm very curious. <laughs> I have seen someone draw the Uro Smog. And it was beautiful. Okay, so somewhere in here is the path to Visine World. I don't remember where it is. Oh, right, this is the, the boy under the painting. This area is cool. I always, I absolutely adore games. I, I adore, I mean, I adore games. I adore games that have things to do with uh, art galleries and just like strange depictions and interpretations of art. There is Vizine World.
<laughs> SpongeBob as a child. Or SpongeBob. A SpongeBob that a child drew from memory. That sound that does sound very funny. Hopefully I'm going the route to Guts World, not the one to Eyeball. Not Eyeball, sh Eyeball, uh, the Eye Shop. Yeah, there we are, Guts World. Ugh! <laughs> right, I always get jump scared by that. This is, that area is huge. Let me bat here, just in case. Uh... <laughs> You know what? I'm not gonna ask what that was. Let me check the keybind real quick. Control shift. There we go. usually works for me. Control, shift, delete. Hello, you. Weird little creature. creature. <laughs> Man, this world is weird to navigate. I, I would like to see a um, Yuminiki fan game that has, like, I don't know the best way to describe it. I just went in a massive circle. Oops. Now, I'll do menu themes later. I, I'd love to see a Yuniki fan game that has, like, Lisa, Lisa-esque, um, mindfuck moments. Just like you walk through, you walk through an area, you see something, and then there's just, like, an event that triggers when it comes on screen. So that the next time it leaves and re-enters scre the screen, it will turn, it will be invisible. So it'll just be like, you see something out of the corner of your eye as you're walking by. You go back to, or like, you come back through the area and it's not there anymore. That would be cool. But I think that's all I got for now. Thanks so much for, uh, ooh. Thanks so much for watching. Excuse me.